Welcome to yoga. So for our practice today, we will um, be stretching out our hamstrings and working through a couple of versions of horse pose. So it might be helpful to have a couple of blocks for your practice today, um, and especially if you have tight hamstrings. So grab a couple of those and then we'll um, come onto our mat to begin our practice. Taking a few moments, maybe even a few breaths. Our body is constantly breathing and our body is constantly moving. So our breath is a great place for us to start our practice. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it's a constant that um, in it being our breath is always there. It's a place that we can return to any time that we need to be centered. So as we continue to breathe, We let any other distracting thoughts move on, setting them aside, knowing we can come back to them after our practice if need be. Nothing to figure out, no problems to solve, nothing special we need to do, just bringing the attention to the breath. Returning to this experience of the body breathing. Training your mind to be one with this breathing experience, letting go of distraction. If you need to take any additional movements to find your body in a more comfortable position, go ahead and do that. And as you feel ready, allowing the eyes to drift close if they're not already. Allow the eyes to relax. The idea is to minimize distractions. So by closing our eyes, we close off the visual experience of the external world. Begin to bring your awareness to the abdomen. Relaxing the muscles there. See if you can feel the natural rising and falling. Feeling the body breathing. Noticing all the areas of the belly, the navel, the different abdominal muscles, and noticing their movement with each breath. We'll continue to take a few deep breaths in the same way. Just noticing sensation in that area of the body with each expansion and each contraction. And then let's shift our awareness to the chest. As you inhale, tune in to the expansion of the lungs and the rising of the chest. And as you exhale, feel that contraction and the movement inward. See if you can follow the feeling of the breath from the beginning of your inhalation through the end of your exhalation.
Now bring your attention to the nostrils. The feeling of the breath may be a bit more subtle here. Try taking a deep breath to see what is present for you. You may notice a slight tickle on the tip of your nose as you breathe in. Maybe noticing the breath slightly warmer as you breathe out. Rest your awareness on the body breathing in one of these three areas, belly, chest, or the nose. Being fully present in this space of breath. When the mind wanders, refocus on the direct experience of the breath. So to begin our physical practice today, I'd like you to take your time to move away from either your sitting, lying, or standing position. And we'll come to a tabletop position on our mat. Let's begin with a couple of rounds of cat and cow. Breathing in and out. In and out. Following the breath. Come back to neutral. Let's go ahead and rest all the way back in the child's pose. Just resting completely on the mat. Allow your body to be heavy. Taking one more breath here, we're going to go ahead and begin to step towards the top of the mat in a forward fold. Let's lift up the feet and tuck the hands underneath. So as we place the hands under the feet, we bring the tips of the toes to the wrist and bend into the knees as much as you need here. On the inhale breath, lengthen. And then as you exhale, let the elbows move outward to either side of the mat. Again, bending into the knees as much as you need. We're gently pressing down onto the hands with the bottoms of the feet. This is called gorilla pose. We'll go ahead and lift the feet off of the hands. On the inhale breath, let's circle sweep the arms overhead. Let's interlace the fingers, press the palms upward, open the chest just a bit more. And then taking the left wrist in the right side, body stretch as we lean over, be long, Press down into your left foot. Inhale through center and we'll switch opposite. As you inhale, reach up tall. Exhale, fold forward. Step back to plank and we'll move through a vinyasa here. Either cobra or upward facing dog. And back to downward facing dog. Our first down dog, let's kind of pedal the heels a couple of times, just waking up the back sides of the legs. So as we move into the hamstrings, we want to be sure to find some movement here, but always be gentle 
not necessarily over extending through the knee joint. If you feel pain here, always keep a soft bend in the knees. On the inhale breath, let's take right leg high into an open hip position. So we'll drop our right foot over to the left. Keep the shoulders square to the top of the mat. As you inhale, come back to your three-legged dog. As you exhale, right knee to right arm as we shift forward into plank. Stay in your plank. Send the leg back. Inhale. Exhale, knee to elbow. So this can be done in a tabletop position as well. Inhale, extend the right leg back. Exhale, knee to right arm. Extend light, right leg back on your inhale. As you exhale, we step through to the top of the mat in lunge. Go ahead and spin your back foot flat on the mat. Side angle pose. Nice long reach through the body. Straight line from fingertip all the way down to your left heel. Reverse warrior. Again, we turn the chest slightly towards your left to be long through the right side of the body. Bringing both hands down to the mat in low lunge. Set your left knee down on the mat. Feel free to pad your knee here if you have any sensitivity uh, placing the knee directly on the mat. As you inhale, reach the arms up and maybe sink a little deeper into the hips here. Release the hands down to the mat. We're going to shift back into half splits, particularly at the beginning of the practice. It might be nice to have blocks as you shift back, always keeping a small bend in your knee, flex the toes upward. Come back to your kneeling lunge, reach the arms up, and then back to half splits. So we're going to flow here a couple of times. See if you can follow your breath. So you're going to find your own pace here. Next time you shift forward, we're gonna to turn to horse pose facing the left side of your mat. Come into a nice wide squat, heels are in, toes are out. Take your arms out in cactus position. As you exhale, draw the elbows together. Inhale, reach forward and fold the chest forward halfway. As you exhale, reach up into star pose. Come back to horse, cactus arms, inhale. Exhale, elbows together. Inhale, reach out, chest folds forward. Exhale, star. Let's do that a couple more times. Inhale, exhale. Breathe in and out. Find your own pace. We're gonna to step to the top of the mat, reach overhead. Exhale, side body stretch. Through center. And exhale, opposite side. Reach up tall. On your exhale, let's fold forward. Step back into a plank or kneeling plank and finish through a vinyasa. On your inhale breath, let's take the left leg high and then open hip position. So we drop the foot over, left foot over to the right side. Come back to your three-legged dog as you inhale. Exhale, left knee to left arm. Stay in plank or kneeling plank. Send the left leg back, knee to elbow. One more time, breathe in. Knee to elbow. As you inhale, send the leg back. As you exhale, step through to the top of the mat. 
We're gonna move into side angle pose. So we spin the back leg flat. Long line of energy, fingertip to right heel. Reverse warrior. And then bringing both hands down to the mat, low lunge. Set the right knee down on the mat as we come into our kneeling lunge. Half split flow, we place our blocks down on either side of the foot. So inhale, sink into the hips. Exhale, half splits. Breathe in. And exhale. Shifting back to our kneeling lunge. Let's turn to horse pose, facing our right side. As you inhale, open, cactus arms. Exhale, elbows together. As you inhale, we're gonna fold forward halfway and reach out. Exhale, high into star pose. Back to horse, open, cactus arms. Exhale, elbows together. Inhale, reach out, fold forward. Exhale, star. Again, we find our pace. Your pace may be slower, maybe faster than mine. Just moving for your body. Finding the breath and moving, moving with the breath. We're gonna to step to the top of the mat, reach up tall, side body stretch. Reaching up tall again. Do exhale, let's fold forward. And we'll move through a vinyasa. So let's go ahead and set the knees down on the mat. We're gonna swing both legs around to the top of the mat. And we'll move into a forward fold. So we always welcome at least a small bend into the knees. Reach. You can point the toes upward towards the sky. And then walking the hands back, let's take the legs out wide. And again, we'll reach forward. Allow your exhale breath to perhaps sink you just a little bit deeper into the stretch. And we'll walk our hands back up, swing both of your legs back behind you. Again, let's move into a child's pose position. Bring the palms together. Draw the thumbs towards the back of the neck. If you need a deeper stretch here, this is another great place for a block. So if you'd like to use a block on either, on either elbow, underneath either elbow, I should say. You can place your head between the block, elbows to the block, thumbs to the back of the neck. And we're gonna make our way to a downward facing dog. This will be 20 minutes in if you are doing the quick flow. Feel free to find some additional stretches and move into Shavasana when you are ready. If you are moving on to the 45 minute flow, 
We're going to do some more work in our meeting places, downward facing dog. On the inhale breath, we'll take right leg high. And then we're going to bend at the knee so the bottom of the foot is pressing upward. We're going to press the bottom of the foot upward and then lower it down a little bit. Press and lower. So if you can think more of a pulsing motion here, so not real big movement. One more press up. And then we'll go ahead and come back to a three-legged dog, extending the leg out. Back to downward dog, set the right foot down. We're gonna shift forward into a side plank, facing right, either side plank or kneeling side plank. Your choice here. Reach your top arm towards the top of the mat. As you exhale, elbow towards the knee. Inhale, extend out. Exhale, elbow to knee. One more, inhale, elbow to knee. We're gonna extend the right leg back. As you exhale, step the right leg through to the top of the mat. Grab your block and place it at the top of the mat. Right hand to the block, half moon with chest facing left. So you can always use this block in any position. You can also omit the block and bring your hand to the floor. Let's take a step back, warrior two. And the inhale, breath, straighten out the legs, reach forward, triangle pose. You can also use your block here you'd like to bring your hand to a block as you work on some side body strength. Turning the hips to face forward, warrior one. Lunge into your right knee, set the left heel down on the mat. On the exhale breath, fold forward over your right leg, pyramid pose. Another great place to grab blocks for tight hamstrings. Back to warrior one. And pyramid pose. So again, here we'll find our flow. Your pace. Go ahead and set our blocks off to the side if you're using them. Move to horse pose facing left. So we're back to that wide squat position. Reach the arms overhead. As you exhale, we're going to turn to face the front of the mat. Lunge. You can dip this back knee down if you want, or you can keep it higher. Back to horse. Let's keep the arms raised overhead. Lunge to the back of the mat. Horse face left. Lunge to the front of the mat. Horse. Lunge. Horse. Lunge. Finding your breath, building some heat. Come back to your horse pose. And let's move into wide leg forward fold, maybe adjusting the feet outward slightly. Let the head hang heavy. Relax everything through the neck. And your next inhale breath, half lift as we press into the floor or the mat. Let's sweep our left leg through to the top of the mat. Bring your right foot to the inside of the left thigh. We'll reach our left arm towards the left leg. Pick a side body stretch through the right side. And turn your chest to face the leg, moving deeper into the hamstring and into the low back. 
As you inhale, lift away from the leg, lift both legs up, boat pose, bent knees, straight legs, any version of boat you like here. Lower the feet down to the floor, we'll roll over the tops of the feet. Step back to a plank or kneeling plank and finish through a vinyasa. On the next inhale breath, let's take the left leg high. Bending at the knee, we're gonna pulse the leg, left leg, left foot upward towards the sky. Building some strength in the glutes and hamstrings. Come back to your three-legged dog. Set it down in downward facing dog. Let's start to roll forward into plank and then moving to side plank facing left. Any version here, you can have legs straight or you can set that bottom knee down. We're gonna extend the top arm towards the top of the mat. As you exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach out. Exhale, elbow to knee. Breathe in. Out. Inhale, let's extend the leg. On the exhale, step through to the top of the mat. Bring your left hand to a block or the floor, half moon. And step back to warrior two. Straightening out the legs, let's reach forward into triangle pose. And warrior one. So we'll turn our back foot so the heel is farther back and the right toes are pointing towards that top right corner of your mat. On the exhale breath, pyramid pose as we fold forward. Again, maybe placing blocks on either side of the foot for tight hamstrings. Come back to your warrior one and pyramid. Breathe and flow. So we're going to turn to horse pose facing our right side. Let's reach the arms overhead. We're going to turn to a lunge to the top of the mat. Horse face right, lunge to the back of the mat. And move, move at your pace. You can take the knee as low to the ground as you like. You can totally omit the bend and lower. So if you're switching from lunge to horse, you can keep the knee lifted just like this as well. Coming back to horse facing right, wide leg forward fold, maybe adjusting so that the feet move outward a bit. You need to shake your head no or not yes to release tension through the neck and shoulders. On the inhale breath, half lift as we press 
Our body's away from the mat and slipping the right leg through to the top of the mat. Bring your left foot to the inner right thigh. Reach the right arm towards the right leg. We'll take side body stretch as we reach our left arm over the body. You should feel that through the left side of your body. And then turning the chest to face the leg, then we'll fold forward towards the right leg. So chest towards thigh. Let's take a little half lift as we lift the body away and move into boat pose. Lowering the feet down to the mat, roll over the tops of the feet. Back to plank and a vinyasa. Let's go ahead and set the knees down on the mat. Child's pose for rest. If you feel like you need more work at this point in your practice, always feel free to add in some more vinyasa. Two, three, as many as you need. You could also work through that horse lunge flow. Go ahead and press back up to a tabletop position. From tabletop, we're gonna step our right leg forward to the top of the mat. Moving into a runner's lunge position if you need to adjust your left leg to be back a bit more. So we're gonna alternate lunge uh, from side to side with frog pose in between. If you like a block under your hips for frog pose, let's have that accessible. So lunge, runner's lunge. Step the left leg forward into frog. Sit down into the hips. And you can bring hands together in front of the heart in prayer position, or you can keep them down here on the floor if that feels, feels a bit better to you. And then we're gonna step the left, sorry, right leg back. Left leg is forward, back to our runner's lunge position. And then we'll step the right leg forward again as we come back to frog. Now this can be a faster flow and it can also be a much slower flow. So choose for your practice. If you go a bit faster, you're probably working a bit more on cardio and strength. And by taking this just a bit slower, even slower than the pace I'm moving here, you can work a little deeper into the stretching part of the practice. Just alternating from one side to the other with frog pose in between. If frog pose doesn't suit you today, you can just alternate and lunge from one side to the other. So we started with our right leg forward and we'll end with the opposite. So right leg will be back. Let's go ahead and meet in frog pose. Take your time to balance out the body. So from your frog pose, we're gonna take it up a little bit higher into a horse pose. And I'm gonna go ahead and face the side of the mat here so we get a little better idea of what we're doing. So coming into your horse pose, doesn't matter which side of the mat you're facing just so you have a good view. We're gonna take hands behind the head. Palms behind the head. On the exhale, let's dip our right elbow towards the right knee. Back through center and left. Let's do that one more time on either side.
Elbow towards right knee. See if you can go ahead and drop the right knee, all, right elbow all the way to the knee and move into side angle. Let's come back to horse, hands behind the head. Exhale, left elbow towards left knee. Drop the forearm all the way down. Extend out into side angle. Let's come back to horse. Dip the elbow, forearm down, side angle. So we find this flow that works for us. Coming back to horse, elbow to right, elbow to left, elbow to right, Elbow to left. Two more, two more on each side. Center, star, reach up. And we'll step to the top of the mat. Taking a couple moments just to reconnect with the breath. Let's bring our hands towards the heart. Maybe close the eyes here. Breathe. Inhale, circle, sweep the arms overhead. Exhale and fold forward. Step back to a plank or a kneeling plank and a vinyasa. And let's go ahead and come down to a seated position. I'm going to take a cross-legged seated position. I'm going to take a block under my hips today, <clears throat> elevating hips to be more in line with the knees. Tall position, tall through the spine. As you inhale, let's circle sweep the arms overhead. And then exhale, wrapping right arm under the left as you find eagle arms. Make space between the shoulder blades. Gently pressing palm towards palm. Maybe even rounding slightly into the upper back and spine. Unwind, circle sweep the arms overhead. Opposite as the left arm comes under. Again, we find eagle and space. And then release the arms down. Maybe just shake out the shoulders a bit here. I'm gonna go ahead and scoot off of the block. Walk the hands behind the hips. Let's find a chest opener as we lift the chest upward and dropping the head back. And then walking the hands forward, let's fold forward over our legs. As we lift the torso up, let's take a twist to our Right, if you have a different version of twist that you prefer your, for your practice today, feel free to find a twist of your choice. Just moving the spine in all directions, flexion, extension, twists. As we unwind to face forward, let's go ahead and roll onto our back. 
Gently draw knees to chest. Give yourself a little squeeze and then let's take the knees out wide for happy baby. Go ahead and set both feet down on the mat. We're gonna draw the right knee in towards the chest. Take hold behind the hamstrings and extend the right foot up towards the ceiling. Flex the foot. If you feel okay here behind the hamstring, go ahead and walk the hands up behind the calf. You can also take hold of the big toe. If you like, you can extend your left leg long or keep it bent here. And then we'll release that leg, switch them out, draw the left knee in towards the chest. Let's start behind the hamstring. Extend left foot upward, foot is flexed. If it feels okay here, walk the hands up to the calf or big, our fingers around the big toe as we take hold and we wanna avoid pain at the knee joint. If you feel too much pressure here, we have lost the whole point of the stretch and we're just causing pain at the knee joint. So you wanna feel the sensation here at the hamstring. So if drawing your leg too close to the body changes the sensation to the joint, let's ease off a bit and enjoy the benefits of the stretch. And you can extend right leg long if you like, or keep it bent here. Let's go ahead and set both feet down on the mat. Reach your fingertips towards your heels, all 10 toes forward. Let's lift up into bridge pose. Walk the shoulder blades under the body, finding the chest, lifting upward. Breathe. Keeping the head neutral. And slowly lower the hips back down towards the mat. Let's give ourselves a little hug again if you draw knees to chest. As you feel ready, we're gonna extend out into our Shavasana. Final relaxation. If you'd like to move into legs up the wall as opposed to Shavasana lying, lying on your back be a great ending to your practice today as well, or any other restorative position that feels good to you. See if you can find the most comfort, maybe you need a blanket or a pillow for your Shavasana. If you can, with all of our distractions and thoughts still set aside, bring your attention to one of those areas of breath that we discussed in our opening meditation. Belly, chest, or nose. So as you breathe, just notice what stands out most for you. If it's the belly, that rise and fall, we bring the air, the thoughts and the ideas to that space of the body, noticing the navel, abdominal muscles, maybe feeling the clothes moving against your body. If it's the chest, and you notice the expansion and contraction of the rib bones, the feeling of the air as it enters and leaves the lung cavity. Again, maybe the movement of clothing against your skin. If it's the nose, maybe we notice the temperature of the air, the sensations it creates as it moves in and out of the nose. See if you can focus your attention here for like the next one minute.
will be until we can promotion us now. If you need more time today, you can make that space in your day for continued relaxation, maybe as long as you need. You're ready to close your yoga practice today, maybe just taking a bit of movement or breath or both. Let's take our time to make our way back to a seated position. Finding your tallest spine, shoulders relaxed, face relaxed. Let's continue enjoy, to enjoy the benefits of our yoga practice today. And take a breath together to close. Inhale. And exhale. 